I heard you finally got some action this last weekend, huh? Oh, I had a French woman step on my balls and make me call her mommy. So if I understand correctly, noob noob, you've already returned said game that you're about to review right now? I did. For a full wow. refund, yeah. Wow. That's economic value right there, folks. Hey, you didn't even get a free copy, so uh, I guess that you're so you're super economical. What do you mean I didn't get it? I did get a free copy. I well, you didn't get it from the from the, the makers, and they'll never give you one now that you just told them that. Resident Evil 9. Capcom, send it to me. I'll review it and then return it. <laughs> or I'll keep it and sell it on eBay for a profit. <laughs> well, okay, that's one way of doing this. So what what are we exactly reviewing now? Resident Evil 8 just came out last Friday, uh, less than a week ago on May 7th, and I went and picked it up. Me and the boys had a gaming weekend, oh, getting all in that sweaty. basement. Yeah, getting all sweaty in the basement, and uh, we beat it. And I returned it immediately because <laughs> there is no replayability. There's no online version, nothing like that? No, there is, but I think That's I have that for free. It's a separate download that I got. Oh. Uh, but uh, So I'm going to go into a spoiler thing, but just as a quick take review for Resident Evil 8. Well, why don't you tell us nope. like a little okay. bit about it? A little bit about it? All right. So this is an insulated story. Follows Ethan Winters. It's a direct sequel from Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. So Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 8 are an insulated story of Ethan Winters, who is a brand new character to the Resident Evil mythos. Mm. And this kind of uh, continues on and completes his journey in uh, in the Ethan. story realm of Resident what Evil. What was the Biohazard? I don't think I played that one. What, is that one any good? Oh, Resident Evil Biohazard was a, was fantastic. Is it a first person shooter? First person survival horror. Looks like I mean, in the what we're watching is some gameplay is uh, somebody spanking someone with a spoon. Oh yes, there was many spankings involved. So could what, you do spankings? So? Why you could not, unfortunately. Yeah, the mods would let you do it. You could beat them with a spoon if you want to. Oh, okay, I saw somebody spanking some 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 big ladies. Uh, that is uh, that is a French woman, and that is her children that sh you are beating with spoons, actually. Mm. Lady Demistria. Demistrio? Demistrio. Dem Demi titties. Dem oh, titties. Lady Dem titties. De <laughs> she is French. But uh, yeah, so Resident Evil 8 uh, continues and finishes the story of Ethan Winters. And uh, it's so very. So Jill Valentine or none of the other. Nobody no. from previous mythos is in it except for Chris Redfield, who everybody knows from like every Resident Evil in existence. Ever. Yes. And uh, he's not, if you're expecting a game about Chris Redfield or involving him in any significant way, no. you're not going to get that. You're getting Ethan Winters. Wow, how did he beat her with a banana? Because bananas are filled with potassium and that and kills that vampires. Vampires do not like potassium. French vampires only like oranges. Mm. Yeah. So um, I, it's a short game. It's only 10 hours to beat the entire story. The uh, is there like a lot of collectibles and unlockables? I know. Oh my god! Yes, you can unlock a lightsaber, which I'm going to assume that not in the story mode. That is in the mercenaries. Uh, if you oh, play, yeah. the mercen they have like that side, like a game horde thing. mode. Yeah. yeah, Call of Duty Zombies. It's that okay. kind of thing. So you can unlock uh, your weapons and all that kind of stuff. There's a lightsaber. I did not have any desire to play that. So oh, the horde mode is usually get sixty pretty good. bucks back. Play mercenaries. So get sixty bucks back. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I, I still enjoyed it. It was a great game. Is it worth the sixty dollars? According to you, it's absolutely not worth not. sixty dollars. No, absolutely not worth sixty dollars. Is it worth fifty dollars? It's worth thirty dollars on Black Friday. Thirty dollars on Black Friday. You yeah. heard it here, folks. What I would say is uh, the best thing. In case you didn't know, going forward for games with single player story modes, GameStop has an offer. 48 hours after launch play with no risk so if it's a story mode that you can beat within 48 hours they buy, will have sex with you buy the game on friday beat the story over the weekend by the end of sunday you can return it for a full refund wow yeah way to just cripple the entire gaming industry Dude, fuck gamestop wow yeah they didn't wow. give us any game stonks they did not game stonk you no so <laughs> has there been any ever since that game stonk thing has there been any Nothing has changed fundamentally about the company. They still suck. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Not much has changed. Not but at they all. do sell Resident Evil 8. And that was uh so do you want do you have any other questions uh, before I go into like a detailed review? I'll give a quick take, non spoilery like stuff. Can you give a non spoiler plot review? Like what's going on here? Non spoiler plot review. Uh well He goes into a village. 
so meets some ladies. It picks up four years after Resident Evil 7. Is he like a SWAT team dude or something? He's is this Raccoon City? Sort of. They they kind of retcon and explain Where a lot of stuff. Where is Raccoon City? Raccoon City is non-existent for like 30 years at this point. It got blown oh, okay. up. Yeah, so Resident Evil 7 was in Louisiana. Ethan Winters, wife was kidnapped or missing. He goes to find her. That whole sounds bunch like Silent of, Hill. Whole bunch of, kind of. Silent Hill-esque in this game as well. Mm. Uh, he goes to find her. A weird family with a fungus is all sorts of fucked up, trying to murder him. Jeez, has the wife. The ends up saving her, essentially. Chris Fred, Chris Redfield comes in and is like, hey, buddy, I'm here to save you. Game Isn't ends. he like 30 years older? He's Yeah, he's, he's old. He's so annoyed. this game picks up after that fact. So it time warps about four years. They're in another country. They're in Europe because they want to get away from Louisiana, obviously. Mm. And uh, mm. they're having a kid. You you get to hold a baby in the very first 10 minutes of the game. It's fun. and then But sh- not as fun as Death Stranding. Shit goes haywire. And then you end up in a village area and uh, you're exploring the town. Then werewolves come and eat your hand. And uh, Wait, so your hand just goes away. Oh my god, yeah, your hand that's like the first 10 minutes, your hand okay. gets ripped off. It's pretty great. And, and they don't give it back. Uh, you don't know why you're there, you don't know why the village has monsters, anything, so you're unraveling that mystery. It becomes increasingly like some weird parasite from the older game now, has nothing to do with it. It retcons a lot of stuff. This oh. this predates all of the Resident Evils. Oh, yeah, in the mythos, all of them, it, it retcons a lot of stuff. This goes back to what started the T virus and everything. So, I'll, and I'll get to that in the full review. But oh my gosh. basically, it's an increasingly. So you're just gonna spoil the plot. Like you're not even. Gonna re- what about the game mechanics? Game mechanics are pretty straightforward. Think Resident Evil Four, mixed with Silent Hill. It's uh, first person, so it keeps the first person action heavy focus of Resident Evil Four. Are there a lot of puzzles? Mm, no. There's okay. defined puzzles. Put a circle thing and spin it until it matches up. Do you find that as a puzzle? It's puzzling. It's not that hard. A three-year-old can complete the Resident Evil puzzles. Okay. Uh, the Just asking. It's basically broken into four sections. So there's... Uh, the main villain is uh, a Are lady... Are you spoiling at this point? I don't even remember who the main villain is at this point. Wow. I have already forgotten. What way to be good Lady Madeline. Get whatever good. her name is. What about the big vampire ladies that everybody is so excited about? Uh, Lady Demistru? Mm-hmm. Yes, she is French. She leads the house of Castle Demistru with three little vampire babies, uh, which you see in this video that they're getting beaten with spoons. And she uh, is, flies Yeah, she's the best part. She was the ad campaign. She was the marketing campaign. You would think that she was going to be in the, the game forever. She is a not, spoiler alert. She's not even like the main villain? Not even remotely close. Wow. She is one Whoa. of four main villains. Um, and uh, you were saying like each section had its own boss. Yeah, each section has its own and she's distinct like the first one, distinct flavor and uh, gameplay style and boss. Yeah, so she is the first one. Mm. Uh, I, pr- the best part of it was her. You know, she's probably a solid three-hour plot point. Her castle's uh, huge. You, you get to do a lot. Uh, she's a little disappointing in the battle. You don't really do much with her. You spank her. Um, but she does smash your face in into the ground a lot, and she is hot, and she has big old tiggums. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, is it R-rated, or is it just like uh, it's just gore and it, violence? It's very gory, very bloody. Mm. But uh, that I would say there's four four distinct play playthrough styles. So Castle Dimistru is Lady Dimistru. You're kind of going through a sprawling castle, open world uh, esque, and uh, you're trying to kill her three daughters, and then you eventually kill her. So there's puzzles involved, there's exploration, and some uh, some Sex action. Exploration. Then the next one is House uh, Bienvenido. I could have said that wrong, but it's also French, I think. It and does that not. goes into full psychological horror. You don't even have weapons in it. It's a very short. Short second boss, Ooh, I guess, would you? Second area. Ooh, look at her. Uh, but I, I found that to be the, the oh, best one. Oh, he's her right in yeah. the tushy. That bitch is big, though. Uh, and, and then all the, all the while, every time you're beating a section, you're going back to the village, which is kind of like the central hub. Is you can that com- where the controversial character is? Who's the controversial the, character? The fat guy. Oh, the Duke? The Duke's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he, yeah he's, people he's, don't like the Duke. He's all over the place. He just kind of shows up. He can't fit through doors, let alone go on his carriage. But uh, he definitely hmm. 
definitely makes his appearance. He's, he's a good character. I like him. He sells your shit, and you get to you get to buy stuff from him. Mm. Um, but yeah, I would say the first two parts of the the game, Castle Dimistru and House Bienvenido, best part. So they blew their load early. The third and fourth one, the Reservoir with Monroe, who is like some weird sluggish, demorphed character. Is it the weird baby thing? I I don't know if he's a baby. I don't know what he is. He's like a weird fat baby thing. I don't know what he is. He's like a slug, but yeah. yeah. Then uh, the strongest person, which is called the Stronghold, which is number four, is uh, Heisenberg, if you remember that from uh, Breaking Breaking Bad. Yeah. His section literally drains all hope and fun out of the game. It is endless onslaughts of just the same villain that are fucking annoying to kill, takes all of your ammo, takes all of your patience. So the game up until that point was progressing. It's good. It has a nice pace to it. Then you hit this part and it comes to a screeching halt. And then by the time you're done with it, you never want to play the game again. You just Mm -hmm. want to get the story over with because that section was so fucking monotonous and draining. You're just like, fuck this. And that's why I returned it. I was like, I'm not going to play this game again until maybe Black Friday when it's like 20 bucks. So are you not like, was this, uh, you do recommend, like give it out of 10. What are you getting? Out of 10, I would say it, full price. If you're paying $60 Hell for the game. Hell no. No, I, I would not pay $60 for the game. Uh, I would pay 30 I would wait for it to go on sale because, like I said, it's not going to have a lot of replay value, so the price is going to drop rather quickly. Is this a quickly. PS5 exclusive? PS5. Uh, no, it's on it's on Xbox as well. It's uh, Sony and Xbox and Microsoft, so you can play it on both. I have it for PlayStation 5, nice and pretty in 4K. Mm. Uh, and story-wise... Does it wise, translate? Like, is it, is it truly a, a, a PS5 release? Uh, or is it like it's not cross... Like, it doesn't work on PS4, I'm assuming. Do they have a PS4 version? I don't think they do. do. Not know. I don't think they do. The rendering. You would think for a AAA title, the rendering would be a little better. But you're literally walking when you're walking in the the castle. You are seeing everything load up as you're going. So it's kind of it's insulting a little bit that you're paying sixty dollars for a PS5 AAA title, and the rendering is that piss poor. So they haven't worked out the kinks. They have maybe. not. So I'm hoping there's an update. So when I rebuy it at a much cheaper price, it's gonna look a lot better. Hmm. Uh, and uh, on a scale of um, sitting in a basement with sweaty men oh i enjoyed that part very much oh and <laughs> that's the if that's the part that was the you, highlight the of win. my night yeah oh my uh, god we, we say, were just on a scale of 10 men from one to 10 did you give it a score uh, t- all, 12 men and two balls each no i i meant the game what game <laughs> i'm just thinking oh, about we men have now. This, we have this new game that's a totally separate game that you're not we're not talking about yeah we're talking about this game where you spank the ladies what about it on a scale of one to ten dummy like a six. Oh my god yeah so like a six not even 6.5 mm, a 6.25 seven let's go seven seven seems a little yeah. high with rendering issues uh, well do, do you do you want me to like break down the story and how they retcon stuff no i don't care no why would i care when i don't I never played the seventh one well, for what the, do they retcon that's so important that you want to tell us? So, like Umbrella, you know what Umbrella is, right? The Umbrella main Academy, Umbrella Factory, Umbrella Corporation is yes. the main bad guys, the, the little red and white umbrella symbol. Yes. So uh, the main villain, who who the fuck? I can't, Elliot DeGeneres. I can't remember who the main villain Elliot is. Elliot Page. Lady Magdalene. Mary Magdalene Lady, is the Mary, main villain. I can't remember the bitch's Mary name. Mary Magdalene. Uh, Lady Miranda. There we go. She was alive in the Spanish flu. And this area became infected. And this is where the main fungus came from. No, she's not the big lady. She's some other lady. But is she big? Her daughter died. Oh, my God. And she was mad about that. So that's the whole point of this story. She's trying to steal. What does that have to do with Umbrella? I'm getting to it. Oh, my God. When you're walking around the village, you're seeing a non-colored Umbrella symbol. Then you find little uh, tidbits that try to retcon the story. She reached out to Dr. Spencer, which is the main, you're at Spencer Mansion in the initial Resident Evil. And uh, she tries to reach out to him to partner with him. And he's like, no, I'm going to do my own thing. So that's where this was the inception point of the T-virus and all the the viruses that kind of spawn off. Some mushroom from the Spanish flu. Some special mushroom that keeps her alive so she can try to steal other people's power and resurrect her daughter. That's what she's trying to do. Okay. What does it have to do with the 
them turning into like the worm things and all that stuff. Nothing. No, that, yeah. They're just retconning that she was kind of the inception point for where Resident Evil went. They're trying to wrap it up into a nice little circle. Uh, so she's one of the founders of Umbrella. No, she Academy. predates the founders of Umbrella. She reached out to an early scientist to try to partner. That scientist said no. That scientist oh, went on to create man. Umbrella. I'm like already bored. This is very convoluted the way you're making me describe it. So it's yeah. terrible. Well, aren't you in? Oh, because she's been alive for all this time. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. But had nothing to do with nope. Raccoon City. Nope. Nothing She's to do with it. Just hanging out in here doing nothing. Yeah, this is very insulated but connected in the overall grand scheme Wasn't of things. Wasn't there one with a village before? Mm. That was real good. Was that f- Resident four? Evil 4? Yeah. This is basically Resident Evil 4 with Silent Hill, like I said. It's very action heavy. The, as the game progresses, it gets increasingly more action heavy. All right. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to bore us with on this? It was good. Don't pay full price. That's what I'm saying, though. The game does not sound like... I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm not, like... I feel like everybody's having a lot of fun with the Lady Demestru. Yes, and she is three hours of a 10-hour game. And, but, but that's, like, they... Like you said, they, they came up short there, and they made maybe made a mistake where people are going to want more. But they didn't get what they wanted. But they do seem to enjoy making mods of spanking her. Yes. It's an enjoyable game when there's not many games for PS5 or Xbox Series X right now. And I think that's what's making people enjoy it more. But if there was a lot of other titles, this wouldn't really stand up. Uh, we're on a, oh, the last, last question. <coughs> on a scale of um, one to scared enough to pee your pants. It was not really scary at all, to be honest. Yeah, Coming it from was a it was professional m- scaredy cat. More Resident Evil Seven was the psychological scary horror. This one was more of action heavy. So you're not really scared. You're just kind of frantically running around shooting things. Hmm. Yeah. So hmm. they kind of failed in that respect. Well, I'm not sold. Hopefully you're not sold. I resold it. Just watch the mods. You could probably buy Noob Noobs used at GameStop. Yeah. So go to your nearest GameStop. And then come over to my Sniff house and it. play it with me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it so, smells like fat people sweat, then it's mine. Oh, my God. Well, make sure you catch our live streams on Easter, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we release videos every couple days. We've been trying to do more of that for you guys. Little short takes. Maybe some more in-depth reviews. If you like what we're doing and some of the changes that you've seen, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, If you feel that we've earned your subscription, we would love to have it. And uh, we really like the fact that you guys like what we like. Like, subscribe, enjoy. And from us here at the Orc University, on to the next one.